Hello and welcome to The Lucky Roll, an eclectic channel for eclectic games. And today we're going to be unboxing the first of the Hero Quest expansions, Keller's Keep. Now this is interesting because before the re-release of Hero Quest, the expansions like Keller's Keep and Return of the Witch King were difficult to find on eBay sometimes and could be quite pricey. Um, if in a lot of cases it could be that you would have some of the minis and all of the card stock or some of the card stock and uh, all of the minis or that the box was chewed by a dog or the usual type of thing so if you wanted to get the original expansions for the original old school hero quest game these were uh, more often than not difficult to get and could be a bit pricey Thanks to HeroCast being re-released, we now have several of these expansions coming out again, so it's actually lovely to see them. But nevertheless, it's still a tad pricey. Um, you do get a whole new quest series in this box, but it's predominantly miniatures and some bit of cardstock, and it's about 50 euros for it, which is a tad saucy, but uh, you are paying for minis, however. So one other thing I did notice between this version of Keller's Keep and the old version of Keller's Keep is the blurb in this one is about saving the king, whereas in the old Keller's Keep it was about saving the emperor and his army. Now both, um, both expansions have 10 quests and they have the same iteration of monsters with the new one of course not having the Femirs anymore but these kind of these fish dudes. So um, with no further ado let's unbox this and see what we have inside. Unboxing this for the very first time, we are greeted with the Kyler's Keep quest book. Now, this is nice, there's plenty of pages, there should be 10 quests in there. Um, now, the now that's interesting, we have an alchemist shop, which of course these cards are, I believe, in this, but it gives you a summation of what characters can buy between quests. Um, you have, of course, the contents list here and uh, four bits of the tablet. So a lot of the quest is about making your way through the dungeon to, I presume, rescue the king, whereas in the older one it was about rescuing the emperor and his army. Um, you have some little extra uh, quests. And yes, the message from Mentor is talking again about the king and his army are trapped in Keller's Keep. So it's not just the king you're rescuing, but also the army. So for some reason, They've changed the uh, the person you need to rescue from being an emperor to being a king. Probably a bit more fantasy, I suppose. Um, this, of course, is the first of the quests, the Great Gate, uh, Warrior's Halls. I won't go into too much details. The Spiral Passage, the Dwarven Forge, Hall of the Dwarven Kings, the Great Citadel, the Eastern Passage, Balorn's Mine, East Gate, and the final one, which is Grin's Crag. And we have here, of course, the conclusion, so we won't read that, but also we have artifact references. So there's new um, cards in this game as well, including spell scrolls, fire rings, and a magical throwing da dagger. Now the spell scrolls, even though it's the same image, all have different actual spells. And the final page, of course, is, and this is lovely to see, you can create your own actual templates or adventures using this expansion kit. So that is 100% happy with that. That is the quest book. The actual cardstock itself is uh, folded over. It's black on one side and we have the various bits and pieces that we have. Now these are stairs uh, that I presume is a trap. We have some new pitfalls. We have some secret doors. This I believe is a cliff face because as um, you can see it kind of it's it takes part in the mines. So this is an easy way to kind of cut off certain sections. And uh, we have the minis themselves. Now, one thing I want to check is this isn't the latest board. This is the old board. So what I want to do is I want to see how this fits on the new board. So as you can see, it doesn't quite fit. We have one corner here and the end of the tree square there. So it is slightly larger, but it is certainly livable that if in some cases you had the original hero quest and didn't want to buy the, uh, the brand new version, you it's still a bit too big for it, but nevertheless, it's not unplayable. Uh, same thing with the with the trapdoors, things like that. It's, it's workable with the old board, anyway, at least. So um, even if you didn't want to buy the main game, you could certainly consider buying the expansions. 
and the same thing now with the actual figures so we tested it last time with the original game and the unboxing of the original game but you can see that the figures actually match the squares now in some cases they are huge but the base is still small enough to actually fit so if you wanted to just try Keller's Keep or it was one say the one expansion that was missing from your original game um, this does seem actually quite compatible with it now these of course are two of the monsters now we have seen them in the um, in the original hero quest so that's the new fish monster that's the female orc which is actually nice to see and we have a series of regular orcs now they're not new molds they're not new castings so it's the same kind of plastic shapes as the previous one and we have a couple of little goblins so i remember these from the main game so it's a strange one in that the minis are repetitive i mean you're getting the same minis again and um there's no new minis in this expansion pack the only two new things you get are the doors which are the ent entrance and exit to the actual dungeon and you only get two of those they stand quite freely so there's no fiddling again with the the base and you have a whole set of cards so we'll have a look at some of these cards and um move on so the fire ring of course protects the wearer from any two dread fire spells and ring disappears after wearer has been protected from the second spell you have the magical throwing dagger always inflicts one body point of damage when thrown at a monster a hero can see monster cannot defend and dagger is lost once it's thrown so that's an interesting one if you're down to one hit point and the bad guy is down to one hit point it's it's a get out of jail card we have a list of spell scrolls here now so the first one is a heal body where you can heal yourself tempest this spell creates a small whirlwind and then envelops one monster of your choice that monster then misses its next turn scroll crumbles to dust after it's used a ball of flame may be cast on any one monster inflicts two points of two body points of damage and the monster then rolls two die for every five or six rolled the damage is reduced by one point and scroll crumbles the dust after it's used so these are all one use items courage so uh, you can roll two extra combat dice uh, fire of wrath um, you blast a monster inflicting one body point of damage and the monster unless the monster can immediately roll a five or six using one die scroll crumbles the dust after it's used so there's kind of the one to six dies on these rather than the shields of the monsters which is interesting and um, the sleep one we have the rock skin which of course you know uh, gives you an extra combat die you have the genie which um, allow does any of the following opens any door on the board revealing what lies beyond or uses five combat dice to attack any monster within your line of sight you have a potion of battle which is these are the one these are the things you can buy in the um alchemist shop between quests so if you have the potion of battle you have a really weak roll of the attack die you may drink this red blood potion and it allows you to re-roll one of your attack die so basically free re-roll um it adds five movement squares the potion of his dexterity uh the potion of restoration adds one body point and one mind point and the venom antidote uh, heals up the two body points because uh caused by poison needle or poison darts only so that's interesting there seems to be some poison traps in this new version of the game now like i said it's 50 euros for this little expansion and you do like you do get a fair bit of a fair bit in it i mean you do get a lot of minis but these are all minis that we've seen before the only two things that are the two new doors the new cards and the quest list itself so um it's up to yourself whether or not you want to buy this expansion if you don't have the new um, board game but you have the old classic one like me it's not a bad purchase because you get to have all of the new minis it seems to be in it seems to just fit with the old board because the aside from the pieces being slightly larger it doesn't actually make it unplayable it's it's not pitch perfect but if you have the old hero quest board game this one will work with it and it is nice to see these expansions back rather than kind of delving through the depths of ebay trying to find a complete one so it's an interesting purchase for that sake and if you have of course the brand new one and you want to keep playing this is also another interesting purchase because it does give you an extra 10 quests and adds the story of hero quest that a little bit more and the fact that you can create your own adventures of course is always great 
Now, the extra minis, I suppose, if you want to have an actual monsters or hordes of morks and monsters to kind of fight against your players, it does give you that option. But um, yes, that is the unboxing of Hero Quest Keller's Keep. Something I am happy to see, but um, I do wish it was a little bit cheaper. So, as always, this is Sean from The Lucky Roll. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, good luck, God bless, and stay safe.